no closing costs. Wow. Call 833-436-8800 or go to theloanexchange.com. is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is September 18th. Thank you for joining us for KCAL News on this Wednesday at 5 a.m. and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Sheba Turk. Happy Hump Day. Happy Hump Day. I'm Kalina Estrinos. Chris Holmstrom is off this morning and here are some of the major headlines we're following. A crash leads to a chain reaction and an overturned car. Or lanes are closed as this investigation is ongoing. Also, a hole opens up in the middle of a busy street and almost swallows a minivan. The repair is underway this morning. It was just a huge boom. And a home disappears in flames after an explosion rocks the Southern California neighborhood. And investigators now are searching for a cause. I'm going to bring in Amber Lee right now for a look at our next weather forecast. And, you know, we're all just happy to be <laughs> we here. We are so loving we're it. So, I feel we like got we got channeled sleep. the fall vibes, yes, ladies. Exactly. It feels so good. I just want to like go to a pumpkin patch. I was about to say, I just want my pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, yeah we're going to have to do that soon okay. then because, you know, fall is four days away. Okay. <laughs> Deal. I thought Sign you were coming up, with bad Amber. news already, Amber. She's tiptoeing around it. Don't tell us. I want to live in bliss. <laughs> it just depends on what you like. All right, right let's Amber? talk about now. Yeah, it depends <laughs> on what you like. You know, we have a, you know, we have a thing for everybody right now in the next seven days. All right, so here's a quick look at our next weather sky cam. This is our Mount Wilson camera from the observator observatory looking down at the basin. We are looking at um, conditions right now much cooler, especially because we have all this cool air lingering with us and we've had uh, the cooling trend sticking around for the last couple of days and it will continue. So here's a quick look at our next weather forecast now and later for LA and Orange County 61 nice and mild. You're going to want to grab a light layer, grab a light jacket and then start to shed it off by the afternoon. Temperatures are going to stay well below average this afternoon. We're talking at least 10 degrees cooler than normal. 73 will be the high. Here's a look at what's happening. I'm tracking this next weather uh, radar with a low pressure system that's going to bring us that chance of rain and also possibly some isolated thunderstorms and showers. It is a little slower moving than what we first thought. So coming up in my next weather forecast, I will have that timeline for you coming up. Back to you. All right, Amber, thank you so much. As we head out the door, we're taking a look at your current traffic conditions right now, where we do still have a crash on the 15th south pass to 138. It is in the center divider and you can see the map just updated when it comes to the slowdown that you'll be dealing with this morning. We're seeing lots of red out there already. Here's a look at our next traffic camera showing you the delays that you'll be dealing with through the Calm Pass this morning. This is a 28 minute ride from Joshua Street to the 215. We also have delays on the 215 approaching the 60 already and this signaler is still in effect. It's a crash and spilled dirt. Eastbound 10 to the westbound 210 transition road is closed off but it's not really causing any delay out there. I do want to take you out to the LA area, Orange County. You are very quiet. LA, we're starting to see some yellow building on the 110 right around the 105 and road work continuing on the 101, but it should be opening up. This is between the 110 to Vermont Avenue. All right. Thank you, Kalina. We're following some breaking news this morning. A vehicle crashed into parked cars and overturned in Reseda. Take a look at this. It happened on Victory Boulevard near Corbin Avenue. The LAPD says the driver and two passengers were transported into unknown conditions and they suspect the driver was under the influence. Victory Boulevard will be closed between Corbin and Tampa Avenue while police investigate the cause of that crash. Also, some terrifying moments in Whittier after armed suspects broke into a home while the family was inside. It's so scary. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live outside of the home with more on what the victims are saying. Cara? Good morning. These family members very shaken. The mother I spoke with says that she and four of her children were inside this home when at least two men armed with guns and flashlights broke in. She says two of her kids then climbed out the windows and ran to a neighbor for help. Take a look. And that was officers responding at about 1130 last night. That mother says she was in the shower when the robbers broke in. They would not let her get dressed, she says. And she tells me they hit her in the head. When she screamed, she says her teenage kids ran for help. Paramedics did check her out. She says she's physically okay. The family tells me someone tried to steal their car numerous times a few months back. She thought these might be the same men and offered them her keys. But she says the robbers instead demanded cash and jewelry. The family says to 
detectives did take security camera footage from numerous neighborhood homes. They're hopeful these robbers will be identified and caught. They believe the suspects got into a waiting car. So a frightening night here that follows a spree of similar home invasions across the Southland.